Here in this area, there's one, two, three, four cars, three silver, one orange. We got a right-hand drive and we got a couple of left-hand drives as well. Um, I've never really known much about these cars, seen much about them. I guess it's a 1967 Toyota 800, is that what it's called, I believe? These are air-cooled, little tiny engines in these little tiny two-seater cars. Honestly, I really did not even know much about this car before or even really seen it in the past, but look at this, these things. They're really cool, they're very sporty, they're very small, and I'd have to say they're probably pretty rare as well. Now I walk around the show, there's so many cars, it's kind of sometimes hard to determine what you're going to stop and actually take some time to look at. But here's something unique, you don't see it at all. This is a Subaru, 1973 Subaru GL. First thing that stops you in your tracks is the color. I just found out this is not necessarily the original color for the car, but it is a, um, uh, I guess yellow is the original color of the car. But this car is so unique and so different, you never, ever, ever see it around. Subarus, of course, are known for four-wheel drive, you see them all the time. Look at the engine in this car, look at how small it is look at how far forward it sits here and look at how big the air conditioning you got an air conditioning in a car with an engine this size the air conditioning compressor is bigger than the entire motor it's unbelievable but this car is very cool I guess it's a later year uh, green color that they put on it reminds me of an early Mopar type of green almost but this car is neat bucket seats manual transmission it is so cool I have not seen this car before it's got a factory tack it's got a speedometer and this car is as clean as clean can be very very cool very very neat Speaking about crazy collaborations and things that you're just not used to seeing around, here is something that's pretty unique. It's an Isuzu pickup truck 76, built in collaboration with Chevrolet. So if you look at the truck and you come through here, you got an Isuzu engine, you got an Isuzu four-cylinder engine, you got an Isuzu transmission, which is a four-speed trans. But look at the side of the truck. What's that? Love Chevrolet. That's right. Isuzu and Chevrolet worked together in the 70s to build cars, something similar to this. You rarely see this. Now, something that caught my eye about this truck that I didn't notice on other pickup trucks is the following. One, pretty cool interior. You got a manual trans with a, um, is that a manual or is that no, it's a manual trans. Then you got bucket seats, big nice bucket seats. I love the carpeted box in the back. Very, very cool. But the coolest part about this truck, something that threw me off was right here. That's a step side bed, a step side bed on a 76. Now, I have to ask, stop and ask the owner why it has a step side, because you never see step sides on these cars. Reason being is a company called California Step Side. California Step Side took these trucks originally, they took off the fleet side, the smooth size bed, and they went ahead and they converted it to a fleet side, a step side like this. Look at this thing. Even though it's a Chevrolet, I got to tell you, if you look at these, these fenders and you look at the way they are, there's a real Dodge pickup truck kind of feel to it here. If you look at it, very, very cool though. I really like the looks of the truck and you're never going to see something like this really anywhere. Nice touch in the back. Gasoline tank, oil tank, water tank, the carpeted bed. How 70s is this? There's nothing more 70s than this truck. Very awesome, very cool. It stopped me in my tracks. I have to stop and tell you about it. Cool truck. You know, we're talking about collaborations. I'm really into these collaborations that happened in the 70s. Here's another one. I've never, ever seen this before. What is this truck? Well, looking at it, you may not tell right off the bat, but actually, this is a Ford and a Mazda collaboration from 1974. Ford Mazda pickup truck. Look at this. A Mazda engine in, inside a truck that you never see around as a Ford, but this is a Ford-branded Mazda truck. If you come over here, you know, look, it's a manual transmission, four-speed manual transmission. You've got You've got a Ford badged uh, steering wheel. You've got a very simple dash, but you look in the back here. This is an all original, and it says it right here, unrestored original Mazda built truck. This truck has got to be very rare and very, very unique. And one of the coolest parts about this truck 
The color is so 70s. Everything about it is so 70s. It truly is a crossbreed of a Japanese and an American truck. And when I mean American, I'm talking about this right here. What's more American than F-O-R-D? Ford. It's called the Courier. Very, very cool. Very, very neat. Never saw one before. You know, Mazda, you know, I had a Mazda RX-7, an FD, and I've uh, been around Mazdas. I like the early RX-3s, but there's a couple of cars that sometimes you just come across and say, what is that thing? This is one of them. Look at this car. Total 70s, right? This is a Mazda Cosmos. This is the Cosmos, the same very popular Cosmos that you see in Japan, right-hand drive only. Here is a left-hand drive. American model 1976 Mazda Cosmo with a rotary engine and it's a two owner car 60 some odd thousand original miles look at the condition of this car look at how neat it is rare as I've never seen anything like this before in my life the first time it stopped me in my tracks I wanted to show it to you as well You know, something a lot of you young young guys probably don't understand is what us old guys did back in the day. That's why I stopped at this car. I know it's just a Celica. It don't really look like a whole lot of nothing, but let me explain to you why. Look at that back end right there. Look at how jacked up that is. That's the way we customized cars when I was young, when I was growing up. It wasn't about low and scraping like that. Nobody thought about that. It's about getting the ass end of that car up, jacked up, raked. We call that the rake look. Backs up, fronts down. Believe it or not, this is down compared to the back. But this is the way a car was stylized back in the 70s. You want to look cool? You want to be tough? You want to get all the chicks? This is the way to do your ride right here. And it didn't have to be a Toyota or a Celica. You could have done this on your old Chevrolet. You could have done it on an old Ford. You could have done it on anything you wanted. But you know what? On a Celica, not too bad. I'll take it. Looks cool. Really old school and original. Total 70s right here. ビデオに関してのお問い合わせはご覧のメールアドレスまでチャンネル登録もよろしく